Hello everyone, I'm Karen Cantu. I'm the Community Outreach Program Specialist for Texas A&M AgriLab Extension for Hidalgo County. Today, I bring to you a Take a Stand anti-bullying advocacy video to bring awareness to bullying. So, let's get started. So, what is bullying? A lot of people have their own definition of what bullying is, and today I will explain along with examples and the different types there is. Bullying is hurting another person or group on purpose more than once. This includes punching, shoving, and other acts of using physical violence to hurt people, spreading bad rumors, and keeping certain people out of a group. Bullying can involve using hurtful words or ganging up to make another person feel helpless. This is teasing people in a mean way, getting certain people to gang up on others, intimidating or giving threats through looks or gestures. This can happen face to face or through the phone, whether it be a single incident or a series of incidents. Continuing, we will be talking about the different types of bullying. We have property bullying, physical bullying, inappropriate bullying, and verbal bullying. Property bullying is anything that involves hiding belongings, theft, arson, extortion, vandalism, or destruction. This can involve where a student may go out of the class to come back and find their things missing, stolen, or vandalized. Next, we have physical bullying. This involves blocking someone's path, physical restraint, pushing, kicking, hazing, anything that has physical contact. Next, we have inappropriate bullying. This can be teasing, touching, slapping, or it can involve using cell phones to distribute pictures, emails, or graffiti that's inappropriate. Last, we have verbal bullying. This includes Teasing, jokes, ignoring, isolating, gossip, or threats. Next, we're going to talk about cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is a whole section of its own. This includes using the internet, mobile phones, or other cyber technology to send me texts, emails, or instant messages, post pictures or messages about others on social media or on websites, using someone else's username to spread rumors or lies about someone, intentionally excluding someone from an online group. All these things can happen in social networking sites such as Twitter or Facebook. We have came to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Please follow our social media platforms to stay updated. The Texas A&M AgriLive Extension staff will be uploading a variety of videos. Until next time, bye!